for this course, whenever you create an event B project, before you actually start modeling and also refining and proving, you're required to actually fine tune certain tactics of your prover. And uh, for your uh, lab exercises, and also for your programming test, you're required to do such setup yourself. And let me show you exactly how to do it. It's uh, actually very straightforward. You just have to make sure you follow the steps faithfully, okay? So click on the project uh, that you want to set up the uh, tactics. In this case, it will be the bank project. Click on that and choose window from the top over here, window and go to preferences, all right? And on the search bar over here, type auto, all right? And once you type auto over here, you will see under event B, under sequence prover, and also under auto post static. That's the one we want to look at, okay? At the moment, you can see the default tab that's being chosen is auto post static. And what we want to eventually change is the post tactics over here. At the moment, you can see the drop down menu. We only got the default uh, tactics to, uh, profile to actually choose, but we're going to create one profile our own, the customized one. So click on the tab profiles over here. Click on that. And then what you want to do is you want to look at, uh, click on the new. We want to create a new profile. Click on the new over here and make sure you actually choose the combined tactic, the combined one, not the parameterized one. And next. Uh, you can see there's a very narrow uh, area over here. I think in the, if that's the case for you, please make sure you actually uh, move your mouse around the border of the panel and click and then drag. Make sure you got wide enough area over here for you to actually see the uh, configuration. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to first of all go to combinators over here. We want to choose the loop on all pending over here. You can see one or more, right? Make sure you choose this, click on that and drag to this uh, white, uh, white area. Uh, let me do it again. So uh, uh, click on that and also drag and drop to over here, this area over here. So you can see now the loop on all pending is actually now here, right? And then there are three more things that we're gonna combine together under this uh, loop on all pending. So now under Tatix over here, we're gonna search three things. One is called a true go. Okay, search for true. And you can see the true go over here, discharge. And again, click on that and drag and drop under the loop on all pending. Okay, so true go is now under this combinator. And the second one is called false hypothesis. False hypothesis, type false and false hypothesis, choose that and drag and drop under the loop on all pending. So you can see now the tree actually got two uh, child nodes so far. We got true go, we got false hypothesis. One more. Right, and then we're gonna choose go in hypothesis. So go in hypothesis. That's the one, all right? Go in hypothesis discharge. And click on that, drag and drop under loop on all pending. So now we got the three. True go for hypothesis and go in hypothesis, right? Of course, if you wanna make it clearer, you can definitely drag uh, to make the uh, middle area wider. And let's choose a name for the profile that we have just created. Let's call that manual space post dash tactic, T-A-C, T-I-C, all right, that's the name. And once you're done, you can say finish, right? I'm gonna describe uh, intuitively about why, what these uh, three things really mean in just a moment, okay? And then once we're done, so now let's go, uh, we, uh, we were now in profiles, and now let's go to auto post static over here. And now you want to choose under post statics and choose the manual post static, right? That's what you're gonna do. And then once you're done, you can say apply and close over here. All right, and that's done. And let's dub double check. So now if you go to the same project over here, if you say window and then preferences, and now you can type auto over here. And under event B, under sequence prover, under auto post static, you can see now under post statics over here, it's being chosen to uh, configure as manual post static, which we just did earlier. All right, and uh, uh, just uh, I can say cancel. It's been set already. All right, so that's about the steps. All right, let's now for the ending part for this video. Let me exp uh, describe very briefly, intuitively about why those three tactics specifically. Let's now take a look. So these are the three tactics that we just added to our manual configuration. So these are the three. Let's go over one by one. So one is you see the true go over here. Oh, this is a terminology I would, I would like to just uh, clarify, which you also talk about 
in the lecture. So whenever you talk about an imprecation, let's say P implies Q. So we said there are different ways for you to call the first operand versus second operand. You can say antecedents, consequence, and in this uh, in this case, we actually call them slightly differently uh, in the rodent tool. So this part over here is called a hypothesis. And this part here is called a consequence or go. Right, so that's the terminology we can also adopt whenever we talk about the rodent tool. Uh, yeah, you know, we'll talk about the models in the rodent tool. Hypothesis implies the goal, right? And now it should be quite obvious to you about why these three topics, uh, uh, these three tactics, uh, actually might be, uh, might make sense. So the number one over there is true goal. When a goal is actually true, it doesn't really matter what a hypothesis is. So something implies true. Is well simply just uh should be discharged should be proved automatically right so that means the imprecation should just be true right away okay that's tactic number one tactic number two false hypothesis it should be also discharged so whenever we talk about discharge over here that simply means we can prove the theorem okay that means we can we are able to discharge the proof obligation that means to prove all right that's how you can think of it. And the second one over here for false hypothesis, so that means if you actually got false as the hypothesis, right? That's what when we talk about if the contractual terms are not really met, then there's no way for you to, for you to breach the contracts. That's what we said in the lecture. So now in this case, it's gonna also be proved right away. All right. And what about going hypothesis? It's actually one of the theorems you should have seen already in your earlier math course. Let me briefly mention that over here. So go in hypothesis. If somehow you got your hypothesis, let's say H over here. So H and maybe some other hypothesis as well implies over here. If it happens that the go over here, the go itself also occur as part of the hypothesis. And usually we actually conjoin the hypothesis together. In that case, you can simply use this hypothesis to discharge it right away, right? This is also can be proof. Uh, automatically, right? You can easily prove this as a theorem, right? Uh, I'll leave it to you, right? So these are the three tactics that we say we want to, uh, whenever you want to prove something in rodent, we want to make sure you can only discharge uh, the theorems or properties that you want to prove when you when you can actually reach one of these uh, stages rather than relying on the auto, uh, auto proof too much. So for, for this course, we really want you to learn how to do some manual proof with the prover to really demonstrate your intelligence. So we don't want you to give you too much power through the auto prover. So please make sure whenever you see uh, these three tactics, you will know what they really mean.